let's get this thing started. babes welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is ayana you want to go ahead press the subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so you do not miss nt videos from me all right so let's go ahead and get into today's video all right y'all y'all can tell from the title i am so excited today today i am officially announcing the healthy hair growth challenge of 2023 this year i'm gonna be doing a little something different because last year i was like slacking and i wasn't here and then i wasn't doing updates like how i was supposed to have been doing updates don't worry about it that was my first time doing it. this year i am going to just be doing a six month challenge instead of a whole year a six month challenge is more feasible and obtainable so i will be doing a six month healthy hair growth challenge this year y'all i'm super excited because i know for sure deep down in my heart that I can do that. I also want to mention that we will be using the same Discord. I think it's still, I think the link is still active. So I will have it down below in the description box if you are interested in joining the Discord. You don't have to, but if you're looking for motivation and inspiration, join the Discord. This year I'm gonna be a little better because one time I went went like a month or two without being in the discord i can't remember i will at least try and pop in and chat with you guys at least once a week let's just say wednesdays because so, for some reason it's something just telling me wednesdays is the best day to do it so every wednesday i'll probably pop in the discord you know update and we can just chat about other stuff too y'all it don't just got to be about the hell but we can chat about other stuff too so i will try and make sure i'm in the discord weekly okay it's about 20 of us in the discord right now so definitely join the discord i will have it linked below in the description like the beginning of our last year challenge this year i will be going through and breaking down what i will be doing on a daily weekly bi-weekly it's monthly and three months type of routine so i broke it down to the t y'all i broke it down to the t so daily my daily hair schedule if you have not seen the video of me trying the vegamore hair products they sent over three i believe it was three hair serums they're supposed to help reduce with the shedding and all that stuff i am thinking about just using that daily just to use it up i have been using it i missed yesterday i have been using it every morning since last what's, what's today i've been using it every morning since i believe last week so i've just been using it up it's not oily at all so that's the re that's one big reason why i like using it because it doesn't feel oily so if it starts dripping down my my little forehead my, my forehead not oily so i'm going to be using that they only sent me three so i'm just going to be using it for the three months just to see if i notice anything so i will be using that hair serum every day in the mornings or at night next up daily i will be doing my vitamins now i don't know if i'm gonna go down the rabbit hole with the with the hair vitamins again y'all y'all know what happened last year i will be doing my updated skincare routine because my skin is finally simmered down i don't know if i want to try doing any type of hair supplements or hair vitamins but I will be just taking my regular multivitamins or daily women's vitamins every day just to see if that will help with anything because you know we're supposed to be taking multivitamins anyway so I'll probably be just taking regular multivitamins but I will update y'all if I decide to try another type of hair vitamin I'm a little nervous a little bit but we'll see okay next up is my weekly hair schedule so weekly I'm, I'm going back to my my roots the basic of the basic how I used to do my hair because how I used to do it was the best way okay I'm going back to finger detangling my hair only if I need to restyle I don't know why I started using brushes and combs on my hair when I did the restyling because back in the day when I used to restyle my hair I just used my fingers that was it less shedding less breakage so I'm gonna be just using my fingers to detangle my hair if I need to restyle my hair weekly another thing I'm for sure gonna be doing this year I'm not gonna be as strict with the everyday type of thing with it but I will make sure to do a scalp massage on my head three times a week so out of this whole seven day week i need to dedicate three days for my scalp massages i want to start doing my scalp massages because i don't know it just especially when your scalp i don't know if it's just me if it ever happened to you but sometimes 
it be feeling so good to just use your nails to scratch your scalp. It just feels so good. But I know that is not the best thing to be doing. So alternative for this is me to use my scalp massager and you know, just go in, you know, good old massage. My last thing that I will be doing weekly with my hair is making sure to at least re-moisturize my hair once a week or between my wash days. I did it a little bit last year, so I'm not gonna be too harsh on myself, but I need to be more intentional in setting a day for when I need to be re-moisturizing my hair. For me, my hair dries out within like, I wanna say five to six days, that's when it starts feeling real bone dry. So before it starts feeling real bone dry, probably on the fifth or fourth day, I need to make sure I re-moisturize my hair and restyle it as well, just so it doesn't feel super bone dry, because when it's super bone dry, then it's a breakage, and then it's a split in, and then chaos, okay? So I will make sure to re-moisturize my hair at least once a week. Okay, next up is my bi-weekly hair schedule. So my every two week hair schedule. Every two weeks, I will be doing my wash day. That's how often I wash my hair. I wash my hair every other week, so every two weeks. So I will have a wash day every two weeks. Along with my wash days, I will be doing a deep conditioner every two weeks. So either a hydrating, moisturizing deep conditioner or a strengthening type of deep conditioner. Either one of those deep conditioners every two weeks will be done. I will also be more intentional with gently detangling my hair i'm not gonna lie to y'all last year I, I, well i did pretty good last year i wasn't you know it wasn't too harsh with my hair i have a i don't even feel like trying to find it right now so i would just pop up a, a picture i have this brush i really really like this brush it's by joyful b i will probably have it linked below in the description box this is the brush that i always use for my wash day sessions especially when i get ready to detangle my hair it's not a hard bristle brush and it's able to bend around so it's not like snagging on your hair. And if I feel like it's a lot more gentler on the hair as well. So definitely check this brush out. I really, really like it. I've been using it um, nonstop. I actually like it better than the Tangle Teaser brush. The Tangle Teaser brush is nice, but I feel like this brush is a lot more gentler than the Tangle Teaser. So I will make sure to be more intentional with being gentle with my hair just overall gentle but i know for sure when it comes to detangling i need to make sure i take my sweet time regardless if it take me about an hour and a half to two hours to detangle my hair we're gonna be happy at the end of the day because my hair not gonna be broken and it's gonna look good okay all right my monthly hair schedule that i am planning on doing every month I will try to at least do one. I don't know if I want to do every month or every other month because I don't want to overdo. I will try to do a deep detox cleaning on my hair. That being a apple cider vinegar clay mask. Y'all saw I've done that probably like two times on my channel. I really like doing those because those really help with the pH balance and the curls just be popping and locking. My hair feels soft. It looks good when I do those types of hair masks. And my hair really, really likes that type of mask for detoxing my hair. So I wanna at least try and incorporate that. If not every month, every other month, cause I don't want it to be like, I don't wanna overdo it and do it too much to the point where it's gonna backfire on me. So I wanna at least either detox my hair once a month or do a clarifying shampoo once a month. Melanin hair care just popped into my head because I really like that clarifying shampoo. It does not leave my hair stripped. It does not leave my hair dry. My hair feels really, really good, so I need to restock on that. But I will do a deep clean or a apple cider vinegar clay mask on my hair. Also, on my monthly hair schedule, I want to try and incorporate scalp scrubs again, y'all. I did a scalp scrub on my hair I want to say almost a year ago I did the video, but I'm going to try and incorporate it into my hair care routine this year intentionally. So I will say I'll do that once a month, probably towards the end of the month or the beginning of the month. Just do a little quick scalp scrub on my head just to release any of the dead skin and dry skin and old skin on my scalp as well. We need to make sure the scalp is healthy. When the scalp is healthy, the hair is healthy, okay? Next is my three month hair schedule routine every three months i decided in order to get my thickness back that i used to have in my hair my hair still thick never forget she's still thick but to get back to how my hair was thick all the way from the roots all the way to the ends juicy thick 
I will try to at least trim my hair or dust my ends every three months. I'm trying to get more of a set trimming schedule because back in the day, like way, 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 way back, I didn't really have a trimming schedule. I just trimmed as I went. Like if it started looking weird and I just cut it. So for right now, I set for myself that every three months I'm going to trim my ends slash dust my ends to make sure that my ends are looking crisp and healthy as possible during this process. Because the more my hair growing in, the ends will look healthier and healthier and the fullness will just even out. Also, every three months, I want to start incorporating protein treatments every three months i am planning on trying a protein treatment or a strengthening treatment olaplex i will try and do that video and get that video up to you guys soon but i am going to be using olaplex um i know alpha g alpha g is the og okay i haven't used alpha g in years but i remember i used it probably once or twice on my natural hair way 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 way, way back i want to start incorporating protein treatments here and there this schedule is not set in stone so i'm just going to go by how my hair feels and what it needs but if i need to do a, a protein treatment then i will it might not be every three months it probably be once every six months like i don't know i have to just listen to my hair but right now i just put down every three months i will do a protein treatment either that being an olaplex treatment or alpha g treatment just to make sure my hair is strengthened and strong so we can avoid the breakage because the less breakage, the more length you retain and the healthier your hair will be. All right, so now that I have my schedule out of the way, what I'm planning on doing, I'm not gonna be as strict on myself. I have it all broken down from daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, so I know I'm, I'm gonna be good. We're gonna be good this time. I set these little goals in place for myself as well. So one of the goals I set for myself is low manipulation slash low maintenance styles i want to make sure i'm not doing too too much with my hair even though i like to do a lot of hair videos i want to make sure that i'm not jeopardizing the health of my hair as well because i realized when i started styling my hair so much and doing so many different things and trying so many different things the health of my hair aka breakage was happening and i didn't realize it until it was kind of not too late but i, I kind of caught it before it got real real bad but i want to make sure i'm not doing too many styles and too many this and that so low manipulation and low maintenance styles will be on my radar this year so i might be doing some more a lot more protective styles this year as well and also this is another one i don't know about this because I remember way, way, way back in the day, I used to at least blow dry my hair once a year. I'm going back to that because when I was, you know, feeling all good and doing it once, twice, three times, almost four, within back-to-back -back periods of time, that's not good. But right now, I told myself, I ain't doing no blowouts. I, I'm not doing no blowouts right now. I'll probably do it at the end of the year. But for right now, my goal is to go heatless this year, other than a hooded dryer. I know a lot of people be like, oh, I thought you said you get you, 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 you. Other than a hooded dryer, I am not going to be using heat on my hair. So if I need to sit under the hooded dryer for deep conditioning, that don't count. As far as like using direct blow dryer on the strand heat, that's a no-go for me this year. I know this will be beneficial for my hair because way back in the day i didn't use a lot of heat on my hair anyway and my hair was so much healthier i didn't experience a lot of breakage i didn't have a lot of split ends and things like that so i know this would be beneficial for my hair so you know this one kind of hurt my heart a little bit because i do like a good old blowout but in order for the health of my hair we will not do blowouts this year i would say probably at the end of the year but right now, no, no, no blue arms. All right, y'all. So that is my schedule that I have set for myself this year. What I am trying to do this year. Let me know your goals and everything like that in the comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just as a reminder, if you are interested in joining the Discord, the link will be down below in the description box for you. You don't have to join it if you don't want to. That's just a place for, you know, motivation, inspiration, just to chat, chit chat, check in, things like that. Let's get this thing started. So official date, let me give official date right now. Official date start for this healthy hair growth challenge of 2023, six months is February 5th, which is a Sunday. So February 5th, 2023 will mark the start of this six month 
healthy hair growth challenge, okay? Good luck to everybody. I hope you're with me. I know I was a little, little lackluster last year, but we got it together. We got it six months, shorter time span. We, we good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring, so go ahead and do that. Don't forget you're beautiful, you're strong, you the best music. And I will see you guys in my next one.